We are uh, standing right now near uh, Mill Creek, um, which is a tributary to Sandwich Harbor, which uh, is connected to Cape Cod Bay. This area has always been a, uh, a valuable resource to the town as far as the, uh, the water, uh, the beaches, the shellfish resources. This is a salt marsh. It's a transition between the upland and the ocean. It's a very fertile area for um, wildlife. Uh, we're actually near the historic boardwalk in the town of Sandwich. There's um, some aquaculture in the area as well as wild harvest. And oyster production on Cape Cod is a multi-million dollar industry. Um, it services both a farm industry as well as recreation and commercial harvest. The natural resource concern here was water quality of, um, for this habitat, for the shellfish area, um, which is, of course, harvested for food. Water quality had degraded uh, significantly and during the 1980s uh, the state stepped in and closed the shellfish resource area uh, for the taking of, of shellfish because the uh, bacteriological contaminants were so high that uh, shellfish weren't suitable for human consumption anymore. It was discovered that uh, inputs from septic systems and from uh, roads and parking lots um, were the main culprit. What's happening in this uh, location is uh, after heavy rains, the stormwater runoff uh, discharges into the marsh and it carries a bacterial load, which then causes the uh, state to close this area for shellfish harvesting. The first flush of runoff from a parking lot, from a roadway, from a watershed, particularly after a long dry period, contains about 85% fecal coliform. And so we, we base our design criteria on treating that pollutant. We uh, found four locations where uh, the runoff was um, controllable and uh, impactful. This is one of them. This is the boardwalk area. Uh, across the marsh there was a parking lot that we also did some work on. We directed the runoff to um, these retention areas are basically sand beds or sand channels that have vegetation in them that perform the same function of removing the, um, the bacteria from the uh, water flow. It's uh, adjacent to uh, the lowest area of the, the parking lot so that water can uh, sheet flow directly off the asphalt, collect in a small sediment forebay, get some initial pretreatment and then uh, flow into the main treatment cell where there's uh, sand filter media along with plant media. And uh, the combination of those elements then treat the storm water and clean it up before it ultimately uh, either infiltrates into the ground or flows through a, a filtered outlet system uh, to the adjacent marsh. The Cape Cod Water Resources Restoration Project was an effort developed locally with uh, local county and state partners to develop a plan for uh, addressing resource concerns in salt marshes, anadromous fish runs, and uh, shellfish uh, harvesting areas. It covers all of Barnstable County, which is Cape Cod, with the exception of two large areas of federal land. The value of a project like this and the whole uh, Cape Cod Water Resources Restoration Project is to um, not only improve the environment, but to support local farms and food production to um, hopefully add to jobs in the area and to maintain this sort of seaside community way of life with recreational shellfish harvesting.